am Chris and this is Simply Classic. Welcome to my channel. One of you asked me about turning the Alley B into a backpack. She had a customer that loved the bag but wanted it to be a backpack. So she asked me how to do it and I thought, oh, great idea for a video. So I played around with a few things and today with two simple changes, I'm going to show you how to do the Alley B backpack hack. So the only change you need to make for pattern pieces is you need to take your shoulder strap and you're going to measure six, six inches from the top and you're going to cut it off. And once you do that, you're going to end up with a piece that looks like this. Okay. Now I drew a line down my center because I, um, you're going to need to mark the center at the bottom here. I drew, you don't have to go the whole way, but so this, whoops, sorry, this will turn into this. And then you need to cut two shoulder straps or two straps for your backpack. So you want to cut them four by 40. You're going to need two swivel clips, two D rings, two strap adjusters, but no rectangle ring. The only other thing you need to do different is for your strap connector, you need to cut two instead of one. We're going to, step one is gonna change a little bit because step one is the shoulder strap and obviously that's gonna change because we're going from this big piece to this little piece. And then step two, when we construct the back, we're gonna add that second strap connector, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So let's get sewing. Okay, in the instructions, I'm doing step one. And step one is the shoulder strap. So this is six inches of my shoulder strap piece. So you just wanna take the full piece from the top, measure down six inches, and then just cut it off, okay? And this is what we're gonna be working with. You can see I also drew a line down the center because I want to mark my center. You can just do it down the bottom, but I just did it the whole way. So then I'm going to, I cut two pieces of my faux that fit this piece, okay? I want a little bit around each edge because we're gonna sew it first and then we'll trim the edges. On one of the pieces, I went ahead and I traced out the shoulder strap. So I just laying this down and traced around it. And then I also put a little mark here where the center is. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be dealing with. Now, on the straps themselves, I cut the straps 40 inches, and I just took them, just like you do a normal strap, put the edges to the center, uh, folded it in half again, and then sewed down each side. Then what I did is from, now let me just say I'm using fabric here as you can see, I'm using a cotton canvas. So on one side, I went ahead and folded the edge in before I stitched it and that way I didn't have a raw edge here. Okay, so that's gonna be the side that I actually put the strap adjuster on. So the other side, which is my raw edge side, I put them together and I measured one inch and I drew a line. Okay, so I have one inch marked on the raw edge here. I wanna take my pattern piece or my, um, my piece of faux and I want to place it so that the center mark is lined up or the top of this piece is lined up with my marks and that I have about a quarter of an inch between the two pieces and I'm lining up so that the center is right in between. Okay, so it's gonna look something like this. I don't want the pieces to go all the way to the edge because we're gonna be cutting. Again, we're gonna sew and we're gonna cut. So don't put your shoulder strap piece all the way to the edge. You're gonna want it in the middle, almost centered between the line and the edge here, okay? So I'm gonna come out one inch, 
try to get these lined up for you. And actually, what I'm going to do is put a little bit of double-sided tape. So let me do that, place them, and then I can show you exactly what I did here. So I'm just going to right underneath my one-inch line. Go ahead and put a piece of tape. little piece of tape. Okay. So, let me peel the backing off here. These are bound to fall. I can see it already. Let me move this. Okay, and I'm going to just line it up. So that's between my center mark and my raw edge. Or not my raw edge, but my edge of my pattern piece. Okay, you have the center mark and you have a space there. And you can see that this is not all the way to the edge here or here. You've got some space there. I'm going to base these on and then we'll sew the front to the back. So I'm just going to And that's just based at an eighth of an inch. And now I'm going to take the other piece and I'm going to line up these edges. And these are probably not perfect because remember these are just pieces that are rough cut from your shoulder strap. But I want to just make sure that I've got these somewhat lined up and I'm going to sew across at a quarter of an inch seam allowance. All the way from edge to edge. Okay, so now this is what I have front and the back. I'm going to pull these two pieces up. And I'm just going to clip them in place. Put a couple more clips on here. Now I'm going to take my pattern piece and I'm going to fold it over a quarter of an inch roughly, which was my seam allowance. And I'm going to line it up so that my center mark is right in between my two straps here. Okay. So I'm going to line it up like that. And then I'm going to trace around and then we're going to sew this together. Now, if you want to glue this or use some double-sided tape, you can before you sew it so it doesn't shift. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and put some double-sided tape on here. You can do it before you actually put that on if you want or before you trace it out. But I'm just going to put a couple strips. Pull this tight. I'm going to fold it up. All right. So now we're going to do just like we did for when we sewed our shoulder strap. 
with the original bag is we are going to sew about a quarter of an inch in from this line all the way around. And I'm also gonna sew along the bottom here, which will help hold these straps good and secure. So an eighth of an inch away at the bottom. And a little back stitch. Okay. So now get those super sharp scissors and we're just going to trim this down. To about eighth of an inch. And there we have our shoulder strap with our straps attached, our backpack straps attached. So I'm going to off camera go ahead and edge coat this, put my edge coat on, put my color on, and wait for it to dry. Okay, I put my first coat of edge coat on, and now we're going to move on to step two. And step two is when we would put our strap adjuster on. But we have to have two strap adjusters, so make sure you cut two when you cut all your, all, all your pattern pieces. And we're going to go ahead and insert these. So you can actually do this a couple different ways. You can put it at the bottom, just like we did the other, and you're just going to have to put two. Or you could actually put them um, on the sides if you wanted to. But because we have the bottom band, that has some bulk, especially right in this area. You know, this is gonna to go together like this. You're gonna have a lot of bulk right there. I'd caution you putting it in that area. Uh, if you're gonna do this, you wanna, and on the side, you're gonna to wanna to put it down further. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick to having mine here at the bottom. I think that will be just fine. So we're going to, do just like you do for one. We're going to install it the same way. It's just we're going to install two. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a line a half inch up. Now I do want to stay. I know my seam allowance is a half inch. So I'm going to mark that on here half inch from the side because I don't want to put my strap adjuster too close to the edge. So when I sew the side together, it gets caught. So I know where that is. I'm going to bring it in about another quarter of an inch. And then I'm also going to go a half inch from the bottom. Okay, so what I've done is I've marked in a half inch from the side. That's where I know my seam allowance is going. I went in another quarter inch, put a line, and then from the bottom going up, I've marked a half inch. And I'm going to place this along my half inch line 
basically three quarters of an inch from the edge. And we're going to go ahead and base this on. So I'm going to mark my other one. So I'm going to come in three quarters of an inch and then a half inch from the bottom. And I'm going to baste this on as well. And this is just so we can keep the bulk of this out of the bottom seam. So when you base these on, make sure you don't go onto your fabric. You want to make sure you stay on your strap connector itself. Otherwise you'll see it. Both of these basted on. And this is what we have. So now instead of one D-ring, of course you're going to need two D-rings. And we're going to put the D-rings on. So I'm going to take my D-ring, I'm going to slip it on. I'm just going to clip this here at the bottom, and then I'm going to base these closed. And I'm just lining up the bottom here with the bottom piece the bottom of the pattern here, pattern piece. From here, we're going to measure a half inch from the fold, and we're going to mark for a rivet. So I'm just going to pull my D-ring connector up, measure a half inch down, centered, a little dot, and that's where my rivet is going to go. these holes and you need to go one up. You want to make sure your D-ring is on the top side here. And then punch that. Rid it, punch this one. Okay, and then we'll set the rivets. And then from here, I'm going to continue on with the pattern just as it says. So I'll be sewing my lining piece on and then completing this back pocket assembly. Okay, just like normal, go on with pattern. Okay, I have the back completed just like the instructions say, the rest of the instructions. We just made those two changes, easy peasy. 
I attach this just like normal and you see we have our two straps up here and the last thing we need to do is attach the swivel clip and the strap adjuster so it's a little bit different I'm going to show you how to do it I've got one done and we're going to do the other one together so you want to because you just have one free end here so you want to go ahead and feed this through your strap adjuster just like normal however instead of sewing it here or riveting it or however you would normally attach what we're going to do is we're going to pull this way up okay so now we have it up here I'm going to put the swivel clip on the end and then I'm going to create some slack in here and I'm going to feed this end back up through the adjuster and then I'm going to push the little slide bar over and feed the other end down through the other side. Okay. And then from here, you can either go ahead and stitch this or put a rivet. And I'm going to go ahead and put a rivet. So I had already done my initial hole. I'm just going to line that up on the existing strap and poke, poke another hole, or punch another hole rather. And I'm gonna put my rivet and set it And then we're done. Just go ahead and clip it. Put the rest of the strap down, clip it to the other side. And now you have yourself an Alley B backpack. With adjustable straps. So I'm gonna put this on so you can see what it looks like. Okay, and here's what it looks like on. Isn't that cute? And it still looks like an Alley B. Now the greatest thing about this is that when you take it off, if you want to use it as a shoulder bag or a sling, you could unclip one side, clip it on the other side, so now you have both of the clips on the same hook. And then you can still use it as a sling bag. This is how I carry mine, is I just carry it as a shoulder bag. But, isn't that awesome? So two easy changes, and you can turn your Alley B into an Alley B backpack. So we're gonna call this the Alley B Backpack Hack. So until next time, happy sewing.